Okay guys, I'm going to show you a shortcut today that many people have been asking for for quite a while and that is a shortcut way to do the uh, standard deviation from grouped data or finding the standard deviation from this histogram. And this is a nuisance, uh, it's difficult. The video that I've done for you shows you how to do that step by step, but still it's hard to get it right because there's many complications. If you miss one number, uh, everything goes wrong. It's very tedious. So people have been asking for shortcuts. Here it is. Now first thing you need to do is to be sure that you have this calculator. Okay, The TI-30XS is just like the best calculator ever. Now this shortcut will also work for the TI-83 and 84 and uh, I'll probably show that in a separate video. But if you don't have this calculator, uh, you probably want to go out and get it for the second half of this course. It will save you a lot of time. Okay, here's what you do. Simply press the data button, and what you'll do is go into the lists, and if you go back to your Alex problem here, notice that you have to have the midpoints, just as you would if you were doing this by hand, and notice that you would add these two together, 110 plus 120, get the answer, divide by two, and that will give you 115. Many people could just look and, and kind of eyeball those midpoint values. So 115, 125, 135, 145. Now those go in the first column of the calculator. So if you go over here and take a look at your first column, the 115, the 125, the 135, the 145. Put those midpoints in the first column. Now hop over here to the second column and put in the heights of each of those bars. So if you go over here and look at the bar heights, you have 2, 10, 6, and 2. Go ahead and put those in the second column, and then you're going to be ready to go. Do these steps. First of all, hit the second button, then hit the data button again, which is going to be the stats button, stats function, notice is in green as the second function up above here. So press that. Then choose one variable stats, hit enter, and now, be sure on your calculator to select L1 and L2. If your calculator is set up uh, in this configuration, what you simply do is you move up, you move over with your cursor and hit enter on that L2. That's how you get that on. Move down to calculate, hit calculate, and you're done. The answer that we want here is the S x answer this 8.306 now we want to go back to Alex and see what they want here as far as decimal places we want one decimal place so 8.3 should do it let's go down here and enter the 8.3 now isn't that a lot better than working it out the long way check this out practice that and I'll see you soon